Oh, wait. No, I have the wrong window open. Ah, uh, looks like we are live. Okay. What were we doing? It was only two days ago. If I could remember what I was doing two weeks ago, then I can remember what I was doing two days ago. As this, it's the time for the thing, but... Oh, I see. We're supposed to go to the Braces Guild, probably? <clears throat> or maybe it is just time for the dinner party now. Well, we're gonna look around a bit. for your brother. Hmm. Which one to choose? <laughs> Still no new issue of liberal news. My sister can't gain weight no matter how much junk food she eats. So that means she has to suck a selling tea, right? Right? Oh, that's co Look, I'm actually convenvious. Um. Kitty's Guide to Savoring Delicious Tea number six. Wait, hold that thought. Mm. That's good. Drink every last drop when you can, because you never know how long the tea will keep flowing. They call the last mouthful of tea the teardrop, because you'll be crying when you realize there's no more in your cup. Another tip is to keep stirring your tea while it brews in your cup. This concludes my guide to savoring delicious tea. What do you think? Best seller material or what? Terrific. Wait, no. Don't ever forget that when you're brewing a good cup. If it's not delicious from top to bottom, it's garbage! <laughs> I really like you. Kitty, new best NPC. 2019. <clears throat> hmm. Seems Olivia is not coming today. I wanted to congratulate him on winning. Okay. Looks like the band's back together again. Let's see that dance that won you the tournament. Of course, I'd prefer... I'd have preferred to have won myself, but I'm not bitter. I was beaten fair and square. me it was quite a sight to behold. <clears throat> I don't think we'd be able to take them in another fight though. Not easily at any rate. Some say victory is equal parts effort and luck, but it seems that the two of you have discovered some secret third influence. With each passing day, one's skills are for their homes, 
As time passes, you'll grow into that victory and realize you truly did earn it. Hmm. Money and BP. We did not rank up. Oh! I got an achievement. Cool. I wonder what that one was for. I mean, something to do with important jobs, I presume. Um, what did I want to look at? Actually, this, no. This is what I wanted to look at. Hmm. That's kind of neat. But I actually wanted to, wait. Ooh. I haven't seen Attack 3. Yep, okay. But no, what I actually wanted to look at was uh, this right here. I'm at level 2, so it looks like I'm not going to hit level 1. I must be a little bit shy of it. Recover CP. That is, is so good, too. Oh, well. Uh, the other thing I wanted to check was, let's see, nine, okay. Uh, that's five, that's six. So if I swapped this out for hmm. that's three and you don't have well you have a little bit I have I read a thing suggesting that I I mean hmm how do I want to phrase this? This spell right here. It was, I was suggested that I try the AoE version of this spell. But I need 9 CP. Or 9 time to do it. Which I seem to be a little short on. Maybe if I had Olivier back, but... Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it for now. It was just a thought, also. Oh, I have so many jobs in here. Wow. Or I guess it's just the same one, but it just keeps going. Really? Hmm. Just a second. Okay. Just had to check on something super quickly. Today I ran across this girl at practice who might be a great fit for our group. After practice, though, she said she was going to stay behind at the lake and catch some fish. Oh, it's the guy's, uh, wife, I bet. Duped in end very much, but that's still a really nice gesture. That you're pretty much worth in the same place I am. 
<clears throat> I really thought that guy in the red helmet was gonna win it all. I wonder. Ransel City and his castle standing in the deepening red of the fading twilight. <laughs> A romantic then. Seems like trouble's an old friend of mine, always greeting me at the door. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I just want to check something here. I already ha I already- wait. <sighs> Olivia took it. That's annoying. My cast as well. Okay, well... Missing quartz notwithstanding. Okay. We'll be closing soon, but I've still got to hurry up and try to get these rush jobs finished. Hmm. You did wonderful out there. Congratulations on your victory. That was an incredible match. It was the fiercest fight I've seen in years. The shop's calmed down a bit since the tournament ended. Seems like I can finally relax. Hmm. Today my wife is doing all the housework. The trick to winning the game is to subtly nudge your spouse into doing something on her own. As if it were her idea. Don't. Don't do this. It is. This is abuse. <sighs> don't do that. <laughs> or at least it can be abuse. It is certainly a tool of abusers, although, ad admittedly, hmm. Dorothy seems to know the team that won the martial arts competition. She was practically dancing in the air when she came in. I admire Colonel Richard, but I still don't approve of his intelligence division. <laughs> hmm. I had a question for Niall, but I can't seem to find him. Any idea where he might be? Well, that's not great. Oh, that's really not great. My newest article is all a showcase piece for all the most popular restaurants. Only the culture reporter gets to go to different restaurants and comment on the cuisine. I can't wait to see the look on Niall's face when I tell him what I'm getting paid to do. Been any details yet about the Queen's illness. And she hasn't said anything herself, so maybe this is all just an out of control of rumor. Estelle and Joshua, Estelle and Company. Congratulations! That was simply an amazing match. I got so many great shots. I can't wait to show you. Hmm. 
So, the comp competition's done, is it? A victory b banquet in the castle. Lucky winners. Sagira's not home yet. I guess that means making dinner is my job today. The Duke is inviting the winners of the tournament to the castle. If the Queen is so sick, how is this anything but a bad idea? Mm-hmm. Good thing the Queen's not actually sick, then. The final match was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Tomorrow I'm rolling up my sleeves and making something new out of my life. Usually there are people up partying all night this time of year. Mm-hmm. Aside from the obvious conflict of interest, there's much better train. Ah, uh, why would... well... Hmm. There's an answer to that question, but I don't think you would like it. I don't know what will happen with the birthday celebration, but we'd best prepare for an influx of people. Oh, goddess Ideas. I've been blessed with another day under your divine protection. But the Archbishop's sermons always bring true. The more people would come to listen. I wish more. Hmm. Wait a second, though. Lost in... Is that... Is that like a euphemism, or...? Ah, whatever. Um... Ryan! Where are you? What? I might need to go back to the braces guild for a moment. Oh dear, where has Brian gotten himself off to? Okay, we're just gonna go quickly head over here, and no? Okay. Health-wise, I mean, Zen is a little low, but I mean, whatever. We're probably not fighting anyway. Probably. <clears throat> He's not that low. The team dad was rooting for lost in the finals, so we're gonna have a good hustle dinner. To console him, pretty much. Keep him from drifting into a slump. We always have to walk in eggshells around that man. It's really annoying. Whenever he gets like this, we have to fill him up with food or he basically explodes. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> hmm. Let's skip the end. Uh huh. Well, I want to read it too. I want to read it all about how we won. I'm not even joking. I'm totally the kind of person who. who We'll, we'll do that. <laughs> I put in a request with the Braces Guild to find my missing wife. But they just told me not to worry. So I should wait for her to come home on her own. 
I'm pretty sure she's fine. <laughs> words is saying make sure you've done your bookkeeping now and like short of getting my quartz back from um Olivier I don't think there's really much I can, can have left to do so <clears throat> mm-hmm Hey, this is the castle of Her Majesty of the Queen. Unless you have official business here. Hey. Hi there! We still have some business to take care of. We have a formal invitation, so by your leave, may we pass? Received directly from His Grace. To Zin and his team, in appreciation for your performance in the competition, you were cordially invited to a dinner party. Oh, okay. You guys were in the martial arts competition. We would greatly appreciate your help. It's kind of impolite, I know, but it looks like he's go not going to be able to make it. We're the only ones coming. Wow. It's like the Hacking Gate, but there's something more impressive about it here. Ever since the nation was established, no enemy was ever bro has ever broken through this wall. The capital has been ravaged by war numerous times as a result of mutinies and insurrections. But even then, the castle held the rebel army at bay and protected the royal family. Or so the stories say. I've never seen anything that compares to this place. I can really feel the traditions and rules of the old kingdom here. Mm -hmm. I am Captain Kanoe Malthea of the Intelligence Division. Heard of Grenzel Ca head of Grenzel Castle's defense. Eh. I would like to extend my heartfelt c congratulations for your championship victory. Watching the match was truly a spectacular experience. I mean... Yeah, we went over this. Like, the colonel is probably about age-appropriate, but she is pretty young to be a captain. Like, we're pretty pretty sure she's in her 20s, so... I mean, actually, the colonel might even be a little young to be a colonel. 
I'm not I'm not 100% sure on what the typical age for a colonel would be. It probably varies a lot on mil from military to military. I do know that 20 something is young to be a captain. Of course, the colonel looks like he's he's in his 20s when he's actually closer to 40, so that's sort of its own... some kind of magic going on there. Estelle and Joshua Bright. It's been some time since the incident in Zeitz, hasn't it? Unfortunately... The matter concerning Professor Russell is yet to be solved. It appears that he and his granddaughter were abducted by a group of nefarious individuals. You wouldn't hope to know anything about that, would you? We left the case up to the full-fledged bracers and came to Grantsville. We never even heard the follow-up report. She is such a snake. Well, with the resources of the Intelligence Division, it's only a matter of time before the culprits are arrested. Oh, I don't like what she's insinuating. <laughs> Seriously, she's such a snake! Yes, ma'am. I understand. Now, everyone, I hope you enjoy the evening. For my part, I must bid you farewell. Yeah, I, f I think the maid probably knows what is going on here, but she's been threatened. Mm-hmm. I think that just might be his favorite type of woman. I just tend to find that women like that turn out to be pretty good people once you feel, peel back a few layers. So to, really is in? Really? <sighs> you and Olivia are just a perfect match. Oh, my honor! Um... Oh, sorry about that. You were supposed to show us to our room, right? Pardon my not saying before, but I am Shia. I made here in, at the castle. I will be at your service this evening, for the dinner party until morning. If anything is not to your satisfaction, please do not hesitate to let me know. Ah, okay, this is... this is big. Wow, this is big. Yeah! Get a load of that chandelier! Talk about classy. That's the throne room. Her Majesty uses it to receive personal guests. It hasn't seen much use recently, though. Oh, no. It's just that the it's the head maid who tends to her in the royal keep of late. I shouldn't speak on subjects about which I'm unfamiliar. This is the room where you, where you will be staying. Please go on in. It's 
so there's only three beds in here. I guess it's a good thing we don't have Olivia with us. I never imagined we'd stay in a place like this. Mm-hmm. Oh, we definitely won't go anywhere. We are unwanted. Mm hmm. Well, that sounds nice and prudent. Well, treasury makes sense. Why is the royal guard room restricted? I see. Okay, we'll have to go and talk to them. Okay. Hey, Zin. We want to go and walk around the castle a little bit. Zin, what are you implying, Zin? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. We probably know most of the attendees. I want to just check something. Okay. I was kind of hoping that coming into a new area would have given me that quartz that Olivier took with him. Alas, it was not meant to be. This is a big room. What are those people at the Intelligence Division up to? Taking important documents without permission? Yeah, I can see how that would bother a librarian. Speaking of libraries, I cannot read any of these. Oh, I recognize you? Ah, Joshua, Estelle, you made it. It's been quite a while. I just arrived today via an airship from Rouen. A little mayor, mayoral birdie told me you two won the tournament. Jill and everyone else will be so happy to hear it. <clears throat> I had no idea we'd be seeing you here, Dean Collins. I s okay, what is that? A man of great respect, he says. You flatter me, Mayor. Thank you for asking, Sal. It's a meeting held once per year to address matters affecting the kingdom. The Queen, mayors of every city, and other representatives all come together to try solving various problems. About half. Mm hmm. I see. Yeah. The, almost every person who is missing is because of the intelligence division, directly or indirectly. Mm-hmm. No kidding. No, my understanding is her actual residence is elsewhere. But I'm told she's come to the capital as of a few days ago. I'm sure you'll have the chance, the dean says knowingly. 
I am 100% convinced that the princess is Chloe. 100%! That does mean that the other mayor, um, what was her name? Like the, the mayors from Bose and I guess the factory head from Zayas are probably here as well. Aha! Mayor Maybell. Here at last. I kept wondering when you'd get here. I was practically counting the seconds. I heard from Mayor Claus. I heard about a pair of children who entered the tournament, won as championship, and were invited to the Grand Royal Banquet in the castle. If I'd known, I would have cancelled my appointments and come to cheer you on. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm aware. I'm trying to be polite. Don't worry, I know how busy you must be. What indeed. The captain is so stubborn about inviting me. Was. <clears throat> I had no real choice but to accept. Actually, every mayor not under his control is here. Mmm, I don't like this. Her words were polite enough, but she gave me an evil eye while she spoke them. I dared not refuse her request. I haven't heard from General Morgan in quite some time. The General is unavailable. It's the longest message I've been able to bring from them. It would seem he is busy with these anti-terrorist countermeasures. I had hoped he'd be in attendance tonight. But I guess he couldn't pull himself away. Well... If the Queen were to be in attendance, I would expect some kind of announcement. As it is, this feels like the Duke has too much time on his greasy, chubby hands. He's letting this position of royal proxy go to his head. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Hopefully it works out. This is empty. Aha! Estelle Joshua. With mayor or class individuals on the list, we had a feeling you might also be in attendance. I must say, I never expected you two would win a tournament championship and end up hobnobbing? Tosses his kids to the bone, you are. It took more than our upbringing to get us here. Lots of people helped us along the way. Captain Amalthea from the Intelligence Division came knocking. She forced me to come to this banquet, but I kept my mouth shut about the fortress. Professor Russell and Company are still in the run, too. But the longer we keep this up, the less chance they have. It's really only a matter of time. Mm-hmm. We sure aren't, but don't you worry, because we've totally got that covered. Hmm. Empty. Empty. Oh, there's stairs up here. 
this, this is the place to talk. Please come right in. For drinks, we can have anything you can think of, be it alcoholic or not. Okay, so you're not actually serving drinks because you won't give me any. Um, maybe later. I bet that goes to the roof. So... Throne room... This is a big room. And an empty room. It is a big empty room. With so few people, we can't possibly finish all this work. All of the other officials were sent away on vacation by the Duke and forcibly removed from the castle. Oh, that's not good. Mm-hmm. And you're working on a skeleton team. Oh, okay, I guess this is where I'm gonna let it go. Wait, was there another door? There was. Oh, is everything alright? Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, the kitchen! The head chef is a real pro, specializing in imperial cuisine. Over 1,000 dishes, in fact. He's truly amazing. The rat problem around here is starting to get out of control. I can't stand rats, so it, this really sucks for me. The main course is complete! Once dinner is ready, we'll make sure everyone knows. And until then, your patience is greatly appreciated. You know why all these guests are really here? Because the Duke got bored. I synthesize for you. May I help you? I'm sorry to be rude, but I'm very busy right now. He has enough servants, but he keeps trying to convince Mistress Hilda to hire on more. I just passed Duke Dunan in the hall the moment ago. I hate how he stares at people like that. I feel like he maybe likes having being surrounded by servants. Okay. We will not go this way, I guess. This is quite the cellar. I guess it would have to be for a castle, though. I don't see anything too interesting down here, though. Well, this is interesting. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, Treasury. The place where the money is kept. It's either there or in the... Well, it, it shouldn't be in the keep inside the keep, because I feel like if it was, they wouldn't have told us not to go into it. It would, it would have been redundant. This place certainly is big, though. Wow. Mm hmm. I would love to walk around a place like this in real life. Actually, I sort of have done that, haven't I? Well, not since I was young. Very young. And I think that was smaller than this. Although, to be fair, the fiction does sort of allow to you to stretch uh, 
reality a little bit. Cannot turn the camera. Hmm. Um, where is Guest of the Duke? Of course it is. But for the last few days, she hasn't been feeling so well. She's not seeing anyone right now. I'm pretty sure that the... Okay, I'm just going to throw this out there. I'm pretty sure that the Queen and the Princess are at the Royal Villa and not actually in the castle at all. That is my gut feeling. Does Princess Claudia sleep here as well? Hey. The princess is focused on looking after her majesty. Neither of them has time to deal with the likes of you. Might I inquire as to what's going on out there? The dinner party will be starting soon, so I will be returning to the maid quarters. And who are our guests? Mm-hmm. It's only because of that victory that someone of a bracer's social standing would ever be invited. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I think there... My gut feeling is that there is less classism in liberal than you seem to be implying. I mean, there's definitely still some there, like 100%. There is a de facto ruling class here. But, um... But my, but my impression is that the queen is someone who does like to, does like to be seen by her people and to see her people in turn. Such discourtesy! You would insult those who were personally invited to the royal castle. Those invited by the duke should be treated with all of the respect due to those invited by her majesty. I sincerely hope you have not forgotten that. I like her. <laughs> She's held up. Come on. Keep up the program, Joshua. Yes, and I'm quite tired of hearing them repeat it to me. I'm terribly sorry, sir and madam. Security has been heightened, and as such, the Royal Keep and its surroundings are off limits. If I may ask, would you mind waiting in your room until the dinner begins? Seriously, the Intelligence Division are such creeps. I apologize you were subjected to such a dreadful behavior. My name is Hilda. I am the head maid of Grantsla Castle, and I oversee all of the housekeeping duties. Well, uh, someone told us about you. I know this handwriting. We also have our bracer emblems and identification with us. I understand. Hmm. You need to deliver Professor Russell's message to Her Majesty. Correct? No, it's not an issue. But those Special Ops men have had the Royal Keep under constant surveillance for some time now. Only the Duke, the Colonel, and hired attendants such as myself are allowed in. Estelle and Joshua, I have a bit of an idea. Could I get you to return here 
once the dinner party has ended. I believe I have. It may be difficult, but I think it is worth a try. I'm going to need some time to get ready, so can you come back after the dinner party? To our room, I guess. Well, we're not late. We got here before it started. Sorry. We got caught up in sightseeing and lost track of time. Plus, we also talked to all of the mayors. We're close friends with the mayor of Roland, and we've met the other mayors in the course of our travels. So it would seem. Right. For a full French bracer, nationality isn't an issue when it comes to work. The prelim fights and legal procedures at the embassy kept me too busy to get any actual work done, though. But there are four other bracers on duty, too, so it's not that bad. Rosard. Oh, we would. She's our mentor, and she's been a close friend for ages. I met her a long time ago, when a case brought her to Calvert. She was fortunate to have a good master working with her for such a young age. All right, want to go and eat? Food. No, but Joshua, food. I would be in trouble at a fancy party. I have terrible table manners. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but it's a fact. Everything comes out in a specific order, starting with the hors d'oeuvres. Then use the knives and forks from the outside in. Yeah, I, you know, I agree with you, Estelle. It's total bullshit. <laughs> it is the food that is the important part. Food! I want to cook stuff right now. I already ate dinner though. It's a little late to start baking as well. Okay. On that note, is the gentleman accompanying you going to be okay with a knife and fork? I'm told that the folks in the east usually eat with chopsticks. Mm-hmm. I'm not especially skilled with them, but I am fine with the knife and fork. Mm-hmm. So it seems. Yeah, he's a bit of a lech, but at least he's a polite one. He keeps it under control, unlike Olivia. But that's sort of what I love about Olivia. Uh, you know, we would have been fine with Olivia here, don't you think? <laughs> Presumably the Colonel. 
Your attention, ladies and gentlemen. My humblest apologies for the long delay. Presenting His Grace, the Duke. Well, there is the Colonel here. I'm afraid that I was in a meeting from which I simply could not break away. Sure enough. I was quite gratified to be invited to this occasion by our Honorable Duke. is that? It looks like a volcano or something. Like that, that's got to be, wait, I mean it should be hors d'oeuvres first, right? But that looks like a dessert to me. Yes, it is quite remarkable. The wine selection also perfectly complements the meal. I almost want to try hiring him away. You're not the first to say such things. And what of you, Zin? Is the food to your liking? I certainly believe I could develop a real taste for Librellian cuisine. It's extremely delicious. Far more worthy of being associated with the... Estelle! <laughs> What did you just say? <laughs> he it went completely over his head. <laughs> hmm? it, it's certainly delicious food, and we couldn't miss a chance to attend so prestigious an event as this. Thank you very much for your gracious invitation. I do finally remember what my brother has been telling me about. We met before, during the Ruin Incident. Perhaps our fates are linked in some bizarre fashion. Of come, let us put social standings and ranks aside. Food is abundant, and the wine flows freely. Ah uh, yes, that's a fine idea. I use this celebration as the place to make an important announcement. Hmm. I believe I will allow Colonel Richard to explain in detail. As you are no doubt already aware, Her Majesty has been in poor health of late. However, she has been recovering and may grace us with a public appearance soon. Unfortunately, she does not consider that to be a wise decision. Within a few days, it seems likely that the terrorists plaguing the kingdom will be swept away. In light of that, the Queen's birthday celebrations will be held as originally planned. Right. If that were all, you could just have sent along a message. Her Majesty is continuing to recover, as was previously stated. However, given the gravity of her condition, she's also issued a proclamation. Due to her tenuous health, she has stated that she wishes to abdicate the throne. And it's, and here is the coup. I no bad. Given that, I wish to relieve her of the stress of her duties following the festival's success. I have to admit, giving Duke Duncan a little, a tiny bit of power has actually improved his 
attitude, well, I mean, it has improved his attitude, let's be real. It's improved his presentation of himself a whole lot. <laughs> but still, no! As the heir to the throne, the decisions are mine to make. Mm-hmm. Mayor Maybell, are you saying that you cannot take his grace at his word? N nothing of the sort. I simply mean that, as an elected official, I don't understand why the successor to the throne can't be elected in the same fashion. Oh, nice recovery. If possible, I'd like to hear this directly from Her Majesty. Your ease is quite understandable. But we do ask that you try to maintain your composure and allow us to continue. As mentioned earlier, I believe Her Majesty will give a formal announcement herself during the festival. Mm-hmm. The Queen's abdication of the throne will have international repercussions. The other nations on the continent will have their eyes on us, and we must be watchful for any action on the part of the Erbonians. Mm-hmm. I think you're living ten years in the past, Colonel Richard. Surely you can see why it is necessary to show united support for the new king. all comes to pass, for we will find ourselves quite busy. I believe that the Duke has a fair claim to the throne. However, is there not another who also has the same right of succession? No doubt you are referring to Her Majesty's granddaughter, which is why they want to marry her off to an Erbonian, so that she's no longer in consideration for the throne. I hate this guy! It is true that she and his grace have an equal claim, but it would appear Her Majesty did not choose her due to her tender age. Yes, it's him! He wants- Oh, you are the worst! You are the worst! Mm -hmm. Sorry to be rude, but this doesn't sound like the kind of conversation you'd want outsiders hearing. Particularly a foreigner. So, how come you're making this announcement now? The serendipitous turn of events. We had wanted to inform the guild of this in advance as well. I've already discussed the idea with Her Majesty. That is because we lack the military strength of the Empire or the Republic. The harsh reality is that keeping close relations with each other is a must. In any event, do you know, now understand our intentions? Hmm. 
You just played Tris a little while ago, and now you want to take an after-dinner walk? I sure don't get it. Must be a... It spines in. If the mood hits me, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> this is a good point. We should go to the kitchen. Also, the bar! They might give us food! Things have gotten serious. We really have to find a way to get in to see Her Majesty. Mm-hmm. Well, first thing is actually talking to people. Yeah, no kidding. Castle blueprints are missing. Uh huh. I can think of one or two reasons why they might want that. Mm hmm. What? I I'm actually upset by the freaking by the forced marriage thing. Now that I understand the full reasoning behind it. Mm. No freaking kidding! On the other hand, I do like the idea that Liberal might be an elected monarchy. This is our first opportunity to speak face to face, I believe. The last time we saw one another was right after Mayor Dunmore was arrested. I'm honest- oh, damn. I realized that we exchanged a few words, but you made quite an impression on me. My curiosity was piqued, so I did a bit of checking up on you. I was quite surprised to learn that you are the children of Colonel Cassius. Mm-hmm. Might have persuaded you to stay a while and talk. Pardon me, Colonel, but don't you have a meeting with his grace? Okay. No, that won't be necessary. I want you to go to his grace and inform him that I'll be delayed. Hmm. Suspit. Honestly, she's more suspicious than the colonel. And I know what the colonel's fre freaking doing. So that's saying something. I know that the colonel is conspiring to basically... To do like a sort of soft coup. I mean, I'll give him, it's gonna, it's mostly a non-violent one, but it's still a coup. And yet somehow I still think he's less suspicious than the freaking, than his captain. I met Cassius shortly after I graduated from the military academy. <clears throat> I was assigned to a mobile unit that was under his command. Since that time, I found myself in his debt again and again. Personally and professionally. To put it simply, he was a hero. And a master swordman to boot. No matter the scenario, he could find a way to handle any number of battlefronts. It wasn't just a matter of sheer tactics either. He understood and could directly direct high-level strategy. Quite simply, he was a man without fear. So you were with our father during the war. Even now, I can still vividly remember the excitement that filled me as we executed his plan that turned the world's tide. Any time I get to talking about those days, time just runs away with me. But this much I can tell you. If Cassius Bright had not been part of the Royal Army, Liberal would now be part of the Arbonian. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh wow, that is that is quite a statement to make. Well, as a hero, he had a knack for doing unbelievable things. He left the army immediately after the war, declining even a medal from the queen. But inside the army, many soldiers still hold him up as the prime example of what a hero should be. Mm-hmm. I think he knew some of it. Well, I didn't know that he was Colonel Richard's superior officer. The rest I vaguely knew about. <laughs> Calm down. It's not like he told me any of it. I just figured a lot of it out. He told me he didn't feel like it was something worth going in, out of his way to tell others. <laughs> No, no. Seeing you like this is actually a relief. When I found out that your father was intending to leave the military, I desperately tried to stop him. But it seems that by leaving, he did what was best for himself. After losing his dear wife, maybe being with you was all that he could help him recover. Now then, I thank you for taking the time to come here. I really can't keep the Duke waiting, so I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. Not at all. You both have told me the one thing I most wanted to know. And thus, I have no regrets. I'm sure we'll have a chance to speak again soon. Cassius might even be with us then, to share in the stories. I feel like... Okay, so... I don't really like the Colonel, and I abhor his methods. But I feel like he probably has good intentions. Then again, what villain doesn't? Well, I mean, lots of villains have bad intentions. What good... How do I want to say it? I feel like he's the kind of sympathetic villain... Well, maybe that's not right either. I feel like he's the kind of villain who has good intentions. <laughs> But that doesn't excuse his terrible, terrible methods, or that he's literally staging a coup. Hmm. I think... Okay, well... Hmm. I think he was being fairly genuine here. And I, if anything, I think he is because we're kid because Estelle and Josh were Cassius's kids, I think he's probably very um cautious of them. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, give me <laughs> You're not giving me any food. That's a little disappointing. Okay, well... Empty... Empty... I don't remember which one it was. Em... Oh, wait, not empty. Estelle, Joshua. So have you met with Her Majesty? Will you... Uh... No. <laughs> You're blowing up the throne room now? I guess the Duke's probably in there. Two? Wait, what was over here again? Right. Hmm.
Anyway, to the kitchen! I've got to be careful how I store the food, so those damn rats don't get in. Um, that is actually a myth. Uh, historically, r mice and rats ate cheese because it was easy to get at. Generally, they prefer nutty things, like... Um, the go-to one I've heard for mouse traps is peanut butter. Yes, give me more! You're not gonna give me more. Okay. Well... Oh? Hmm. Okay, well, enough delaying. Enough stalling. Sorry about that. We got caught up by Colonel Richard. He had some things to tell us about our dad. I don't think he has any idea what we're up to, though. I can understand at least some of how Colonel Richard feels. He used to come here when he worked as General Morgan's aide de camp. I'm told he was a school friend of the late Prince's, Her Majesty's son. Would that he were still alive today, none of this would be happening. But lamenting what might have been is a fool's errand. The evening is fast approaching. We must make our preparations at once. Come on, Shia. You won't find a more dependable child. She's a great help to us whenever the princess is in the castle. If you're ready, you should go change into your uniforms. The ribbons and the headpiece are tricky, so I'll adjust them for you. <gasps> yes, I like where this is going! Estelle is going to need a dress to dress as one of the maids in order to get into the royal keep. A little fling for the hair, and you'll blend right in. Breezy and easy to move in. Well, our uniforms weren't easy to move in. If our uniforms weren't, they'd make cleaning much more difficult. <laughs> eh? Pardon? I mean, he did play the princess during the play at the campus festival. Is there really that much of a difference between the fancy dress and the maid outfit? I can't appear before majesty in woman's clothes. <laughs> oh, Joshua. But you can. Oh, you'll be fine. It's not all shameful or anything. Not this again. Hilda, Shay, help me. Say something. Anyone? I see. That shouldn't pose a problem. Yes, it's never been used, though. I get the feeling that the Princess Claudia sneaks around a lot. Wait a minute, I don't remember ever agreeing to change any- <laughs> Terrific. Ta-da! 
think it suits her very well. I don't think you want a cell to work here as a maid for real. Well, we already have work as bracers, so... None at all. Yes! I love it! I love it! Well, it's almost frightening how that looks. A bit of makeup can make all the difference in the world. Please, just say you're done. Oops. We'll just have to stay focused and get to the Royal Keep. Well, excuse me. This was your idea. <laughs> hmm. I'm not like you. I'm not obsessed with food. Oh, this is neat. to talk to you about his her majesty's diet okay so I'm sort of just curious is there someone down here who's not a member of the no there is not okay well on the one hand I kind of want to say I'll stop digging around now on the other hand I really want to see what else people say to Hilda, if I can find anyone else anyway. I seem to not be having much luck on that front. <laughs> Madam Hilda, what a long time it has been. I've had some pressing business to finish before I left Bose, so I haven't yet slept. Hilda is good. Madam Hilda, what brings you here at this hour? Just making the rounds, as it were. Oh, a private visit from Mistress Hilda herself. A trainee maid inspection, is it? All right then. I wonder if Zinn will recognize us. <laughs> What's this? What magnificent architecture! What fantastic design! And the castle's not bad. Zinn! Zinn! Miss, I think I shall have to request a room cleaning post haste. Zinn! You are such a lech. Madam Hilda, you look well. As do you, Mr. Murdoch. Though busy as ever, it seems. Wait. I didn't go to the library either, but eh. Oh, okay. He, he's gone now. It seems all of the servants have left, or most of them anyway. Hilda, what business do you have with Her Majesty at this hour? I'm bringing some tea and spoons at her request. The current situation means that Her Majesty is denied the right to even go about her daily life as she wishes, after all. 
Your grace ordered me to hire some additional staff. Or his grace. <clears throat> They've only just arrived at the castle today. Do you stare hard, so hard at every young lady you see? I do hope you're not thinking any untoward thoughts. I rather think that his grace and the colonel would disapprove. I don't think his gr I don't think the duke would give a damn, but the colonel probably would. <laughs> I'm just glad I could help. Boy, close now. <laughs> I mean, if you insist, Joshua. It was so cute. Yes, this is Princess Claudia's bedroom. But she rarely sleeps in the castle, so the room is all but unused. You'd have to ask Her Majesty for the full details. Her room is on the second floor of the Royal Keep. I'll take you there. Mm -hmm. Even the mini keep is huge. I beg your pardon, Your Majesty. I've brought the two I spoke of before, Joshua and Estelle. I bid you welcome. My name is Eliska von Osleys. I am the 26th monarch of the nation of the world. It is an honor to meet you. I have truly been looking forward to meeting you both. I regret that I cannot offer you proper hospitality, but I have prepared some tea. Please, have some and relax. Mm -hmm. A pitch black ormond capable of negating all other orbital energies. He has indeed. I have but a vague idea, but I do not think that the colonel ever even knew of it. Did not think. Perhaps I am worrying about nothing, but even so, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. Roughly ten years ago, a massive orb of reaction was detected beneath Ransel. Professor Russell was the individual who came to investigate. Hmm. No, far deeper underground than that, in fact. Professor Russell was under the impression that it might be a relic of the ancients that still functioned. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe so. However, we were unable to establish the nature of the artifact, or indeed why it was buried beneath the city. It is beyond my imagining how the colonel would even know of its existence. Professor Russell's research on it was kept strictly confidential and off the record. Honestly, just as I start thinking maybe the colonel might be a slightly nicer guy, yeah. I'd expect no less from Costas' daughter. He was a friend of my late son's and a great savior to the nation. 
Even after he had retired, he would sometimes undertake requests from me. I imagine there are a great many things about him that you do not know, including the precise role he played in the war. I assume you have not been told. Perhaps then, it, that is the role I am meant to play. Estelle and Joshua, will you indulge me by listening to an old story? Ten years ago, in the spring, a tragedy occurred in the southern reaches of the Urbonian Empire. Its cause is yet unknown, so that is something I must omit. The Empire used that event as a pretext for the invasion of Liberal. So began the sad times that would become known as the Hundred Days of War. Just as the Empire made its declaration of war, a massive military force reached the Hacking Gate. In what seemed like scant moments, all of Liberal became occupied territory, save for Gransel. It is said that the invasion force was three times the size of the entire royal army. The reinforcements from Calvert were too late to stop their advance. It was but a matter of time before Grensel too would fall. But two months after the outbreak of hostilities, the war changed in a way that none could have imagined. Patrol airships had just been developed and were used to recapture Liberal's checkpoints, severing the Imperial Army's communications. The Royal Army then set about recapturing the major regions, one by one, using ships launched from the fortress. Zeiss, Rouen, Bose, Roland. With their supply lines severed, their Ebonian forces occupying each region were swiftly crushed. And the one behind this plan for a counteroffensive was none other than Colonel Cassius Bright. It was your father, who was General Morgan's right-hand man, as well as Colonel Richard's superior officer. Afterwards, with the intercession of the Bracer Guild and the Septian Church, the war was brought to an end. But it was at this time that Cassius lost what he treasured most of all. Lena, your mother, Estelle. The clock tower was destroyed in the Imperial Army's vain attempts to hold back the counteroffensive. What followed, I'm sure you know. Cassius was not even able to be by his wife's side in her final moments. And he believed that the military operation that he himself had planned effectively caused her death. Blaming himself, he left the military and took up the path of the bracer. All to stay with the only one he had left. And this time, he swore he would be able to protect those he loved. sad. Given that all he lost was in service to his country, the responsibility falls upon me. And so, I am sorry, Estelle. I failed to protect your mother. I have wished to apologize to you for a long time. Estelle, you have a kind heart, and I'm grateful. It gladdens me to have finally met you in person. Now more than ever. However, that is why. That is why I do not wish you to put yourself in danger. I would like you to remove yourself from any dealings with this matter. Thank you. I am grateful for your willingness to do so. But if some tragedy were to befall you in Cosmos' absence, I know of no apology I could, that could ever suffice. 
ask only- Oh, whoops. She was saying go back to Roland. If I may, your majesty. The peace that dad restored, and that you protect, though it has held firm, now trembles like a leaf. If the colonel is able to use the gospel for whatever purpose he intends, and if he succeeds in making the duke the new king, then what will become of that peace? I ask only that you consider that. doing this because that's what I believe is right. And I want, really want to see it through. I too am ready. I would like the two of you to carry my request to the Bracer Guild. My request for the Bracer Guild to rescue those being held captive by the Intelligence Division. Among them is my granddaughter, Claudia. Yes, this coup d'etat started when I backed her as the successor to the throne. Yes, though he is my nephew, he is possessed of a considerable number of character flaws. In brief, where he is lacking, my granddaughter shines. For the sake of this nation's future, I would have my granddaughter succeed me. <laughs> No matter the era, there will always be those who object strongly to a woman wielding political power. Not to mention, the memory of the invasion by a larger power is still relatively fresh. Some of them will perceive a succession of two consecutive queens as a sign of weakness. It is hardly surprising that such a notion has taken root in the minds of some. Claudia's pending succession to the throne caught him quite unaware. That, along with his passing of this information to the Duke, is what led to this coup. This was all staged so that Liberal would become a strong military power, with the Colonel ruling from the shadows. I see. That would... I'm seeing the picture of the Colonel now as well. He's still... His head's still in the war from ten years ago, so... Aside from, you know seizing power. His goal here is really to create a strong military nation that can defend itself from outsiders, but also will have all the baggage of being a military nation. Um, and the Duke is just a power-hungry bastard, which we already sort of knew. <laughs> so if Liberal became a militarized country, what would happen? I mean, taxes aren't the end of the world, but taxes for war are not good. That seems likely. That also seems likely. Mm hmm. I thought that such proposals were born out of genuine love for his country. But I never agreed that they were the right course of action to take. The Royal Army is not all that protects this land. We have worked hard to maintain treaties with other countries. Defending a nation goes hand in hand with free cultural exchange and trade with all other nations, to the benefit of them all. The Colonel, however, really? Uh. Many people have had family members taken to ensure that they would not dare to oppose the colonel. But I am the queen, and I will not allow all that I love about my country to be destroyed simply because of blood ties. Still, she is my only granddaughter. I cannot simply allow her to die. I see... He, he certainly doesn't want to kill the princess. I mean, if he did, he would just kill her. Um, 
marrying her off to some Arbonian is, is much better suits his both his wants and needs. But if he did kill her, it would s sort of handedly solve the succession issue. There would only be one possible option, and it would be the Duke. Um, thank you, both of you. With that reassurance, I will do all that I can to oppose the Colonel's demands. I appreciate the sentiment, Estelle, but the present state of affairs is not contingent upon my freedom or imprisonment. The gospel shall continue to weigh heavy on my mind for a great many reasons. For my part, I will attempt to ascertain the colonel's true intentions. to be a good queen. And yeah, all the hostages are certainly at the royal villa. That's definitely outside of Bracer jurisdiction. Well, first things first, we do whatever we can. Estelle and Joshua, have you finished changing? Then we should return to the waiting room at once. It's already 11 o'clock. Actually, it's almost midnight. Yes, I believe so. Just be sure not to do Her Majesty any further discourtesy. from the capital. You might have heard of her. Shara's no... That's a very modern name. What am I saying so? But it just doesn't sound right for you. Should have gone with Lena. You're too kind, sir. No, I mean, at least not from us. Please, be safe on your way home. <laughs> Should have gone with Lena. Oh, well. Well, aren't you Mr. Popular? Pop <laughs> it was like their eyes all changed when you told them your name. I didn't see you shying away from joining the conversation. Is it? It's the Duke. Oh, Duke Denan. Ah, uh, slave of uh, the court. Hey, you maids. You don't look familiar. These two are the new hires, who I'm instructing. This is Dorothy, and that's Karen. They're still quite inexperienced, so I'm giving them some extra training time. Oh no, the butler is actually competent. <laughs> Come now, Philip. Enough with the staring. It's quite unusual to see coming from you, stiff upper lip and all. Please, pardon my rudeness. You look much like my niece. My eyes are playing tricks on me, it seems. I am dreadfully sorry for the discourtesy. Was it not? You shall attend me this evening. 
I don't think that's happening. Your grace, your flirtations, while flattering, are best saved for another time and place. All of the maids in the castle work directly in service for Her Majesty, Queen Alicia. I trust you've not forgotten. I do not mind when you drink to excess, but you know how your libido- Uh, Philip? What are you saying, Philip? But I s mm. Hmm. Hmm. I'll give you the best advice a future king can give. So, I apologize unreservedly for all the thoughts. His grace will likely remember nothing of this come the morning. Please, set your minds at ease. I am truly sorry. Madame and young missus, I beg your pardon, but I must take my leave. That's not the sort of popularity you want, though. Estelle, allow me to elucidate the matter of tea and why gentlemen should never request it in polite company. Now you do you understand? Okay. I regret that I rarely get the chance to serve her directly. She's so kind and open, she always treats me more like a friend than a servant. The thought of her being held captive keeps me up at night. What, might I inquire, are you doing at this late hour? We were having a conversation with uh, Shia. Is the answer to this question. Good evening. I realize you've been invited here, but don't you think it's a bit late for you kids to be walking around? Oh, it's certainly understandable. So, where were you half an hour ago? Please enlighten me, if only for my own edification. Obviously not here. I mean, I feel like saying we were in the maids' quarters is the safe bet. There are guards in the cellar. Lots of people going in and out of the kitchen. I'm maid quarters. So let's not waste time in games. I did, in fact, receive several reports of you going in and out of the maid quarters. Do you not think it's a bit odd to be looking around in that particular place? It's Zinn! 
He looks wobbly. Are you dr Yeah, you're, you're, you're drunk. Hey! If it ain't my favorite gorgeous office lady. Officer lady. <laughs> nice, some luck that we met up again, eh? So, what's going on? Are my students here causing any trouble? No, it's just that they were in the maid's quarters for a while. I merely wanted to know their business. Simply a security precaution. Hm, I totally get ya. I just sent them off to find some munchies to go with my boo-boos. Joshua, do you kids find anything to eat? You want to come and join me for a drink? I I'm afraid I'm busy, so I'll have to decline your generous offer. Oh well, might as well just go back to the room. I mean, I'm sure he's been drinking, but he's the size of an ox. Um, it probably takes quite a lot for him to get drunk. I was acting drunk. I haven't had Seriously? Wow. I'm impressed, Zen. I would have thought it'd be obvious. The story of you meeting. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Whoa, wait, what? Did Elnan tell you something about this? But now that I know anyway. But now I know anyway, don't I? I guess it's finally time to show you this. Well, don't just stand there. Read it. Dear Zin Vethek, I hope this letter finds you well. I know I've been out of touch. I'm in a hurry, so I hope you'll pardon my bluntness. My work concerns the Jaeger, concerning the Jaegers is leading me into imperial territory. However, due to the fact that unusual forces seem to be influencing matters inside Liberal, I feel uneasy being absent for so long. This is why I must ask a favor of you. Could I persuade you to come to Liberal and help out if they need it? Since you haven't been to Liberal before, perhaps you could think of this as a recreational trip. There's a martial arts competition before, excuse me, before the Queen's birthday celebration and foreigners can participate. It would make a fine camouflage. I realize that this is sudden, but if you can do it, I would be most grateful. I'm intending to return to Liberal before the festival, so hopefully we'll be able to have a drink together when I return. I owed Master Cossus a favor from the time he was spent in Calvard. This letter just gave me the chance to make a square again. Well, did you realize that we were his kids? When? I have a feeling from the outset when we saw Estelle's whoops, thing me. I also asked Kielika about it, and that confirmed it. 
It would have been nice if you'd all said something about it. You were worried sick wondering where Dad's been. Mm-hmm. He knows this much. I wouldn't need to tell him everything, right? Oops. Turn that off. I agree. It's probably be best to fill Zin in on it. It's a bit far-fetched to say that we could put an end to this whole situation on our own, after all. Would be a bit far-fetched. I see. I thought something seemed a little off when everyone was take talking at the party. Alright then, I'll help you with your request. I think this is the ideal opportunity to settle my debt with Master Cassius. Please, let me help. Which is also good because it means I, he's not about to walk away with my quartz. Thank you once again. Ooh. I bet this... Okay, I thought this the moment I heard about it, but I bet that the this space underneath the sewer, which this presumably is, is going to be the final dungeon for this game. I I'm feel quite confident about it. This is larger than I expected. Lieutenant Lawrence, if you'd be so kind as to show us the way to the lowest level. Um, what the heck are those? Archaisms? Hmm. I still have a ways to go before I can really humble anyone, I'm afraid. But time waits for no man. The skills I possess now will have to be enough. My brave men, the way to the ultimate power is open. A bright new dawn approaches from our beloved liberal. I expect only the best of each of you. Understand the situation. You both performed admirably. I'm amazed you were able to deliver the professor's message to her majesty in person. Mm -hmm. If you understand that already, then there's nothing more that I need to tell you. In any case, we can consider Professor Russell's request to be fulfilled. Wow, that's that. Well, actually, it's, look, I got a lot of money from the tournament. This is still a significant amount, and also a lot of BP. <gasps> we leveled up. We are cl junior bracers first class, which means we get that cool accessory. We need the help of an A-ranked bracer like yourself. Even if I didn't have a debt to repay, I couldn't possibly stand by idly in a situation like this. So Zin is a A rank. Uh, presumably Cassius is an S rank. <laughs> also, my assumption is that in Trail's second, 
chapter, we will be full bracers, so we will probably start off at G in that game and work our way up in a similar way as we did here with the junior ranks. Twenty A rankers across the continent, w which is cross, yes. Okay, Cassius. Who are the other three? Yeah, I mean, of course. Of course! If, you, if you're surprised by that, Estelle, you were not paying attention. If you were with us, perhaps this would never have escalated to the point where a coup d'etat were even possible. This whole change of events apparently started with the dad going off on his trip. It's as if whoever planned the coup was waiting for him to be gone. At least that's just the impression. I love that idea. This whole plan success is predicated upon Cassius not being in the country. <laughs> Emergency conference of the Grenzel branch of the Bracer Guild is called for. All of the things being all of the things being equal, we have a request co that comes directly from Her Majesty. The third article of the Bracer Code states that we shall never act in a fashion that interferes with the government. We cannot ignore Her Majesty's request, however, so we must act. But there, but we're no match for the royal army. I ask the cooperation of all Bursas and Grenzel, including Zinn, of course. Mm-hmm. This may be to stifle any activity on the part of the Royal Guardsmen in hiding, as well as ourselves. If we're going to conduct a rescue operation, we'll have to do it with the resources on hand. That's been on my mind for a while now, actually. I believe the most likely place to be Herb Royal Villa. Considering it's the army we're going to be going against here, I'd like a more solid confirmation. If we assault the wrong place, we'll have hell to pay for it. Okay. That is a good idea. Okay, one of the braces is in the pub, one of them is in the shopping center. I do not know where the other two are. Oh, we can should be able to do that. Oh, one of them's probably in the hotel. Maybe Carla. Okay. I wanna do something right now before I forget. Oh. I already had... wait. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna give that to Joshua. And Zin, here. I'm quite happy with you having prevent the block. Actually, no. No, I'm not. Uh, we are gonna give you... Faint? And... Protection from Death Blows. Which 
have proven to be a bit of a problem in the past. No one's up here. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I went to the platform to see if there were any flights to Ruan, but the soldiers told me the airships are grounded. streets were planted to commemorate Princess Claudia's birth. Hmm. I plan to run this booth up through the celebration. This place breaks down a lot. It's positively amazing how much money I've made off the martial arts competition. We depend on the festivities this time of year to make ends meet. If we're in the red, we're dead. Hmm. He's still sick. I have no idea what will become of the celebration. Okay, wait a second. I'm just wanna see quickly. Okay. Oh hey, it's Carla! Look who it is. Mm hmm Um You're not just pulling my leg here, are you? I must admit, I did find it a bit odd that the gates and ports have been shut down. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit. I think it's I think it's the calm before the storm though, to be honest. Possibly in more ways than one. Hmm. I think you have too much faith in one man. <sighs> With the birth of separation so close? Hmm. Well, well, if it isn't the big bad champions. I heard you guys spent the night at the castle. Did you eat anything good? That's exactly the same thing Carla said. If Zim the Unmovable is moved, then that's all the proof I need. I wonder if we can get into the embassy to talk to Olivia. Uh, maybe that's not the best idea, though. He's probably an Urbonian spy. Or something. Hmm. Well, it can't hurt to try, though, right?
I don't really stand to lose anything. Except for a little bit of time. Oh, I should finally be able to buy that art, that new liberal news. Mm hmm. And I saw Annalise up there. You keep saying that. You heard it here first. Queen Alicia loves tea, like adores it. Sometimes some of her royal aides come to buy her teas. I take some small measure of pride in selling the same teas the queen loves oh so much. You are a good person, Kitty. Keep being the tea maid that you were born to be. Yes! I do. Well, if it isn't Zin, then you recruits. Just to make it absolutely clear, this is not a joke. <laughs> no kidding. Yep. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't honestly say I expected different. Okay, green hair is probably at the end then. Keep Olivia from leaving the premises. <sighs> Can I at least get my stuff back from him? <laughs> Please. Hi, museum. I don't think it'll be cancelled. TBH. Oh? Liberal's history is quite long, and more than a little sordid. Its roots go back more than a thousand years. Um, wait. The current queen is like... No, that does not add up. The current queen is like... Was it like the 17th or the 20th? Look. There are fewer than 30... There have been fewer than 30 monarchs in liberal. 30 does not stretch out over a thousand years. <laughs> Very well. That would mean the average reign for a ruler would be like, what, 40 years? That is, that is not, that is not a realistic number. Mm-hmm. I think even I think it's even over 40 years. I'm assuming it's 20 it's mid 20s, mind you. If it's if it's in the teens, then that's just that's even more insane.
like, consider the situation right now. Uh, Princess Claudia is, let's say she's 20. If she became the, if she became the monarch today, then she would, 40 years, she'd be 60. And that is be and that is becoming a monarch at a very young age, frankly. In all likelihood, she, uh, political interference notwithstanding, which does sort of further okay, like look at the Duke. The Duke is not in his twenties. <laughs> Forty years later later, he will be like what, seventy, eighty? I am so convinced that he has had his mind messed with. Every single bracer is asked if we're serious. What is happening? What? What was that indeed? Because these are to directly affect the target's body without direct physical contact. I don't normally like to be so rough, but time is not on our side. I can't remember every detail, but a good bit is coming back. Didn't I say before? There was an accident around three months ago. Wait. What? So, but the, but the, so he must have been the one who sent the Black Orbman. like a sleeve but physically impossible. you know what this is still this is still quite troubling but it's better than him being a spy slash traitor and the potentially mind controlled one at that okay that's all the bracers next up will be Next up will be the church, I suppose. I've looked all over town, and the best place to pop the question is right in front of the gates, I think. Mm hmm. I don't know. Well, I was, well, the mayors were there, I guess.
<laughs> I can sympathize with that feeling all too well. Well, it seems he's okay at least. In his own way. And that's fine to get excited for something. I'm still quite certain that she's off fishing somewhere, <laughs> but, um, oh, I feel kind of bad for him. I mean, not really, like, no, that, that was the, a poor choice of words. I wonder if the intelligence division kidnapped the kid. Like, I'm pretty sure the guy's wife just ran off to go fishing. But I feel like the granddaughter was probably snatched to force General Morgan to cooperate. That is my gut feeling. or none, but I haven't seen her around today. Mm-hmm. This... Okay, well... Where's she at? Who are you now? Might I guess that you share complicity with her then? I'm sorry to say she is no longer at the cathedral. She came to say goodbye to me this morning and left. We can certainly, um, hmm. keep an eye out for real guardsmen. Maybe Neil will know. <laughs> Maybe. always has to leave early each morning, so I'm in charge of making breakfast. I'm just by our own means, and whoever gets home earliest is the one who makes dinner. Oh, the place sold, you say? 
Well, looks like it hasn't yet. The royal guard may seem a bit antiquated by modern standards, but to see them sticking to their rules of discipline was simply breathtaking. Are they? Hmm. hmm. Those special ops guys were grumbling about some search mission. I got bits and pieces of it. Royal guard, citizen, uncooperative. Everyone is all caught up in the Queen's birthday celebration. Hmm. Oh, it's Dorothy! Oh, Neil's missing. Hmm. But given how close we are to a state of martial law, I don't much like that he hasn't contacted us. Hello, Dorothy. Pardon us. That's what we were just talking about. Neil hasn't shown up here today or yesterday. No word from him or anything. We came here to talk to him after the semifinals. Someone had just called him. He got a call from someone, then he said he had to leave. Quiet of the landing port, and there was no sign of him. So I figure he still has to be in town somewhere. It was the arranged marriage, I think. Well, he did say he's friends with someone who works at the Royal Villa. I knew it! Maybe the person he was talking to was his friend at the villa. Which would mean that Niall's probably there too. Sorry, but we really can't talk about it. note though. Uh, I have no idea where the real guards might be, so um, let's read issue 9. <clears throat> Crown goes to an unlikely team. When the last of the special ops units slowly sank into their knees, 
The referee raised his hand and the entire arena erupted in fanfare. The competition, which had got off to a rocky start after the change from a single to team matches, had yet another unforeseeable surprise awaiting eager fans. In the form of a team of unlikely victors led by Zin Vathak of the Kalvard Republic, was there anyone out there who could have anticipated such a feat? A martial artist, two bracers, and a musician. An unheard of combination, to say the least. Yet, this is the group that advanced to the finals and took the crown by defeating the elite of the Special Operations Unit. It just goes to show, it's not over till it's over. The winning team's members continued to work effectively by leveraging their individual talents to complementary harmony, har harmony with one another, playing off of each other's strengths. The competition itself was an event replete with powerful heated battles and unique team dynamics, which ended explosively to thunderous ovation. The liberal news wishes to honor the valiant efforts of all those who participated in this year's proceedings. In a ceremony held at the conclusion of the competition, the winning team was awarded with a cash prize of 100,000 Mira and an invitation to the Royal Banquet. This formal dinner will be hosted at, by Duke Duncan von Oslees. The mayors of each city and other various persons of influence are also scheduled to attend. The Liberal News has been informed that Her Majesty the Queen, who has been recuperating, is expected to return to her official duties soon. The anniversary celebration, which was in danger of being postponed, will now assuredly be conducted on schedule. In recent days, with unsettling news becoming the norm, it is certainly wonderful to receive such joyous tidings. Mm. The search for the officers of the ex-Royal Guard accused of acting as ringleaders in a series of terrorist-related incidents has proven to be one an onerous one, and after making little headway, the Intelligence Division decided to station members of the unit within the Royal City in a move to further step up defensive measures. All security positions covering Grantsville Castle are also expected to be relegated by the same unit. A dragon? Reports have made their way to our news desk regarding the sightings of an enormous silhouette making its way across the skies above Revenue Village, located in the northern part of the Bose region. Public speculation revolves around whether or not the object in question is, in fact, the ancient dragon which has been living in the world since before the Great Collapse. According to statements by a number of researchers, the Bose region was the last place the ancient dragon had been sighted, giving further credence to the claim that the great creature may still presently live among us. Research concerning the ancient dragon has also begun to take a leap into the public spotlight as of late. These purported sightings have, of course, only fueled researcher excitement. Okay, well, let's head back to the Bracer Guild, I guess, because I don't know where else to look, frankly. I think we will probably run into the Royal Guard on our way into the villa. We... Mm hmm So, routine. Are we all up to date on the pertinent details? Given this information, we should consider ourselves under contractual obligation to Queen Alicia. Got strong allies, we'll prevail without a doubt. Is 
It's not the most elegant approach, but I believe taking control of the villa through a frontal assault is our best option. A decoy team and a rescue team. We will presumably be the rescue team. I see. Two decoy teams and an ambush team. The ambush team would lie in wait until the decoy team draws out the enemy forces, and then both teams could attack at once. Meanwhile, the second decoy would attempt to break the enemy's ranks, allowing the rescue team to enter the villa more easily. If we did two squads of two, then Zin was in his own squad, that would do it. Uh... Oh! It's Lieutenant Schwartz! That's how. I, uh, I don't. Okay, so. Which is perfect for four teams of four, but I don't think we're gonna get a guest star party member here. Okay, so... Yep, okay, this makes sense. This is going where I thought it would. The word you're looking for is we. We can do this, and we will. Okay. I get it. Okay. Take a quick look at ornaments. Mm. 
I feel like having Petrify and Impede is maybe redundant. I could swap this out for Defense? Like, but Petrify is so good! I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> Two, cast one. This wreck is really good. Okay, HP and whoops, too far back. Nope. It's B2. Probably don't need mute, but it's sort of like, what else are you gonna put there, right? It has to be earth based. Um How much Sephis do I have? Not quite 800 for Earth, I have... No. I don't really have... Well, I could make another HP 3 if I wanted to. But that's about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're not going to do anything with that. I don't think. Uh, but what we are going to do is uh, we're going to save here. Because I think I'm done for the night. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, have a fantastic uh, evening. Bye!